What's up guys, King Dipper one here, and I realize I am blue, actually I'm blue everywhere, but uh, I was working today, but I came home, and now we're going to do an unboxing video, so there's a lot of stuff that I got today, I got a bunch of more dip, I got a uh, Stoker's Mint, which is really, really good, I love it, and then we got our package, let's see what we got, so I'm going to open this, holy smokes, Look at this, y'all. More dip. We got a whole lot of stuff. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the roadie mud jug. I bought a roadie mud jug with the, you know, it's got the mud jug symbol. This is one of the free ones you get. And, uh, dang. This cap is bucking on there. Alright, so, roadie mud jug, guys. This is for in the car, you know. I'm going to put this in my truck, so. Good mud jug. And it won't spill, and it's non-breakable, basically. And you could drop it from anywhere, and it probably won't come off. Then, this is, well, wait, let's look at the uh, packaging. You know, so, uh, um, so, um, order note. Alright, so, uh, Darcy actually signed this himself, because he, uh, put the thing right there, this little, little sign a signature thing, but, um, so this is my shipping order, and it said order note, uh, it was at asking me if I wanted to comment, I put, it asked, it was asking me, like, why I liked, or oh, how I found out I'm a mud jug. I put Outlaw Dipper, and I'm a big fan of Darcy and the gang at mudjug.com. I watch all videos. So, and uh, little buddy Darcy signed it right there. And uh, let's see here. Sweet, I got a mud jug sticker, guys. Mud jug sticker. Oh, yeah, I love unboxing. And then, my favorite the actual mud jug with the yellow on the back of it and outlaw on the front so guys i am super super fucking excited oh shit i dropped it but i am super excited this is the outlaw mud jug and this thing is pretty fucking cool this is actually uh the second mud jug or well technically third mud jug that i've actually gotten but uh, my other ones i sold them but this one, I have never had the Outlaw Mud Jug. And that's pretty fucking cool. And I also got this, which is going on my laptop. So, to Darcy and them, thank you, uh, Darcy and Outlaw and all y'all over there, thank you so much for the Mud Jug sticker and the Mud Jugs. I'm glad I could buy your package. I also got a, uh, um, I also got a, um, shit. The Outlaw uh, bundle package coming in, which is the t-shirt, the can cover, um, the Outlaw mud jug, and a roadie mud jug with the Outlaw uh, stuff on it. And it's also got, um, it comes with a free mud jug, so I'll probably get another camo orange, or hunting orange. So this is pretty cool. Nice. Goes right in. This this is great, guys. But the first mud jug I'm really gonna use is this one. This is so fucking exciting. So, um, one of these cans I already had this can open. This is my Grizzly Straight. But I got three, uh, two cans of Grizzly, or well, three cans of Grizzly Straight and a Grizzly Winter Grain. And then I got the Stokers. So we're gonna open up the Stokers. We're gonna do a review today too, guys. So. This is super exciting. Uh, first, we're going to review the Stoker's Mint. Because I've never done a Stoker's Mint review. Actually, Stoker's, period. And I've done a Grizzly Straight review. And I've done a Grizzly Wintergreen review. But we're going to do them all again. And so, let's get started. So, I'm going to open this puppy up. You can just smell the mint pouring out. I mean, this is... Stoker's Mint kind of tastes like Copenhagen Mint, just not as strong, but they're both really good. So, 
I'm only gonna tear the top label off, not tear the whole fucking thing. So, uh, Stoker's Mint, guys. So, let's open this puppy up. Alright, so you got your Stoker's Tobacco and your Stoker's Can, pocket can, and you got your tobacco right here, which is, this is equivalent, the great dip at fair price. Bobby Stoker's, the guy who originated Stoker's. Uh, 100% U.S. tobacco. Now, that's one of my favorites. I don't want no shit that was in fucking Asia or Canada or some shit. So, you got that. And, uh, basically, Stoker's is, um, National Tobacco, LP, Lu Louisiana, Kentucky. So, uh, I'm not gonna do this right now. I'm not gonna mess with this. I mean, I'll, sh I'll open it and show you guys the can, but, uh. So this is the Stoker's can. Um, it's actually very easy to open with one hand, and I like that about that. But uh, so you got your fresh can right here, and we'll load it up in just a second. But this, I'm super fucking excited about this uh, this sticker. I can't wait to put it on my laptop because I'm a big mud jug fan. I mean, portable spittoons. So um, let's put a Stoker's dip in. And so, and it's been a while since I've had mint, guys. I mean, I, I had, I had Kobeg mint, but I didn't do a review on it, which really sucks, and I'm sorry. So, let's put a, this is a little thicker than normal, so, let's just put one in there. Mmm. I love mint, guys. Mint is so good. And the first spit of the outlaw mud jug. It's gonna be glorious, guys. I gotta take a picture while I do this. Oh yeah. First bit in the outlaw mud jug, guys. Super excited about that. And this is gonna go in my truck. So uh, let's go ahead and fill up the can for stokers. So that way I have one on hand. Alright, well no. We'll fill that up later. Um, we'll fill that up later after we do the reviews for all of them. Because I'm going to put... I don't want to waste this. And so I'm going to put it back in the can. So, I'll, I'll do it later. Uh, we'll do a filling up review. And the best way to fill up a Stoker's can. So... Yeah, on my jug, guys. And it says yellow on it. That's what I love about this shit. So, yellow, outlaw my jug. And I actually have, for King Dipper 1, I actually have a symbol like this. But instead of there being a skeleton, it was two rifles like this. And then it had um, King Dipper across it. And I was thinking about seeing if I could get a mud jug made like that. Um, but uh, I haven't tried yet, so. But this feels great. I like this. I don't know why, but mud jugs just make you feel good about yourself. And, and you can barely even smell the odor. So, let's, let's just see how. And this bit goes right in there. It's a good little funnel. Now, let's see if it's actually spillproof. So, here we go, guys. No drippage. You can shake it and there's no drippage. That's amazing. So, but, um, so we got the Stokers. We got, uh, three cans of Grizzly Straight. Because, really, to be honest, I know, like, the more expensive stuff tastes better, like Copenhagen, but... Right now, cheaper is better because I'm not having that lot of money. So I got the Grizzly Straight and Grizzly Wintergreen. And uh, so, yeah, but we're going to do a review on each of these. Ooh. So, Grizzly Straight and. Mm, mm. Uh, Stoker's Tubs. They are actually, um, 
equivalent equivalent to eleven cans. So yeah, it's pretty cool. But and mine came in the U.S. Post Office, and yeah. So now at first it said it was coming in FedEx when I looked it up on my phone, but uh. I wonder if you could put this on the side of your mud jug. Maybe wrap it around the side of this. You can. Instead of putting this on my computer, guys, I'm going to put it on my mud jug. So, just figure out how to... Because, see, I don't use my computer as much. So, we're going to make sure... This goes on correctly. Nope, I don't like that. Damn, this thing sticks. Okay, so this wrapping around. Mm. So, yeah, the mud jug portable spinner now has the mud jug sticker on it, which looks really cool. And uh, it's got the mud jug label right there. Um, oh shit, there's an air bubble. No. No. Don't worry, we'll get it out, guys. Oh no. We gotta get it out. This is gonna bother the fuck out of me. We gotta peel it back. Which really sucks because I don't wanna mess up the sticker. You know, we're just gonna leave it. So, what if it's got an air bubble? First, first bit in a roadie. I've never actually bought a roadie before. I've only gotten these. I've got. I had the uh, Confederate camo and the uh, Confederate flag one. So that is pretty cool. But um, yeah. Let me know. The mud jugs are about. I don't know. Maybe a good five inches tall. And uh. Length from here to here, probably. I'm saying probably about five inches. Well, that's for the funnel, but for the rest of this, I mean, I, it's is good length. I, I like it though. It's the outlaw mud jug. I can sit here and play with it, not get spit on me. That's cool. I'm tired of spitting in bottles. I mean, bottles are just shit. I mean, okay, well, the uh, the difference between the roadie is the uh, your spitting capability on it. For the roadie, you got um, a little a little nozzle. For this, you got kind of a bigger one. I mean, you guys can tell the difference between the nozzles. Uh, I mean, the you know, the little funnel, the end of the funnel. So, but anyways, I thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to do the review later for, so, but I just want to show you guys this unboxing, but thank you guys so much for watching, and this is the King Dipper, and I'm out.